koutou katoa, tuia te rangi, tuia te papa, tuia te moana, a te watamata, a tika moana, e rongo te po, e rongo te ao, e nga reo, nga mana, nga rangatira ma, tēnā koutou, i te kaupapa e te po, o te po, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tato katoa. Can I acknowledge you, Richard and Ngāti Whātua, um, for your welcome? Thank you. Can I acknowledge members of the Hauraki Golf Forum, especially the Deputy Chair, uh, Moana? Uh, Councillor Pippa Coombe, uh, councillors and staff from Auckland Council, and thank you uh, for organising and hosting this function tonight. Parliamentary colleagues, Maya Lubeck and Erica Stanford, members of the Waikato and Auckland Conservation Boards, Mia Gaudi from Thames Coromandel Council and other councillors. But can I acknowledge everyone who celebrates and cares for our Te Kapa Moana, Te Moana Nui, a toy? And can I, like Clark, acknowledge the magnificent people who share in an inspirational way the beauty of what lies under the waves. Dave Gunson with his 21 posters, Riley and Steve Hathaway and other videographers for bringing our marine space alive to those of us who don't uh, dive. It inspires aroha, it inspires respect, it inspires care. Today, as others have said, we're here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Hauraki Gulf Marine Park. Ko te pataka kai o te kapa moana, te moana nui a toi. It is our only marine park in Aotearoa, New Zealand. It is the only um, area which is recognised as being nationally significant, um, and it was a law that was passed in 2000 which was really innovative because it recognised Te Triti, it recognised the interests of Tangata Whenua, and it sought to overcome the legal and administrative boundaries that we impose by law through council boundaries on uh, the sea space. It sought to integrate the management of the natural, historic, and physical resources of Te Kapa Moana, its islands, and its catchments. It sought to establish objectives for management, and I think what Moana has talked about and the fact that the Act provides for these six State of the Environment reports, by establishing objectives and then measuring whether they are being achieved, we are actually in a much better position than if we hadn't had that legislation. The Act also recognises the historic, the traditional, the cultural and the spiritual relationship of Tangata Whenua with the Hauraki Gulf, Te Kapa Moana and its islands. And most importantly, the legislation seeks to protect and enhance the life-supporting capacity and the natural resources of Te Kapa Moana. So it's 20 years since the marine park was established, uh, 20 years since the forum was established, and the critical role that Moana talked about of the forum in being a vehicle for implementing these purposes in the law and these objectives um, across these boundaries. So this kaupapa of protecting and enhancing the ability of our seas in the Gulf to support life um, is really what is the focus of the State of the Environment report. And it is charting a, where we've come from and where we have to go. We, as others have noted, and Clark in particular, it is an opportunity to celebrate the, some of the successes over the last 20 years, but to reflect on how much more we need to do and the urgency of this work. And like Moana, I acknowledge Dr. Shane Kelly, Ro Kaukuri, and the team that have put this um, sixth State of the Environment report um, together. Particularly the honesty, the frankness of their conclusions and the accessibility of the report with its many uh, graphics and uh, panel boxes. It's very easy to read and would encourage you to do so. As others have noted, one of the successes is with Brooders Whale and the fact that we have significantly reduced uh, the con collisions because of that voluntary initiative by the shipping industry to reduce their speed. And another major success is the sustained work that has been done to free the islands of Te Kapa Moana, Te Moana Nui Atoi, from rats, stoats, possums, and those other mammalian killing machines. We, through collaborative efforts of Te Papa Atawhai, conservation groups, um, iwi, and philanthropic support, 
may have meant that there are now 15 more islands than there were in 2000, which are free of introduced predators and are safe spaces um, for uh, birds, for uh, uh, plants, and spaces where species like tiaki have been reintroduced, spaces now that we have 45 of these islands, depending on whether you count some of the rock stacks, which can provide stepping stones for uh, birds to move across the Gulf and to um, move to the mainland. 30 years ago, Rangatoto's Putakawa forests were on their way to recovery after possums had been uh, eliminated. But rats eat an enormous number of seeds. So the recent elimination of rats means that these forests are now really recovering and birds are coming back of their own accord. And then you've got that revegetation that's occurring on Mototapu, Motoehi, and Motoro, Motowora. So this is just a magnificent effort above the water. And that has only been possible because of collaboration. Those efforts inspire me. But as Moana, as Clark, um, and as the video have pointed out, in the marine space, the State of the Environment Report tells quite a different story. The continuing loss of species, habitat being overwhelmed by the impacts of our activities on land, whether it's the nutrients that are coming in from farming, the sediments as land developers seek to create our flat building platforms, um, the overfishing. The report tells of the gaps in information. What is the state of the scallop beds in the Gulf? We have anecdotal information, but we don't have the science. We've got kura, crayfish, becoming functionally extinct outside of marine reserves. The kelp forests replaced by kinna barrens because there aren't, there aren't enough snapper there uh, to remove and eat the kinna. And despite the best efforts of fishers, species like the taiko, the black petrel, are still being caught in recreational and commercial fisheries in such numbers that that is likely to lead their population to continue to decline. We've had 10 mass mortalities of fish and shellfish over the last 10 years. A change in climate, rising sea temperatures, is going to mean that is more likely um, to happen more frequently. Toxic algal blooms becoming more common. So what does it take to turn this around? Collaboration, I think, is something we can all celebrate and encourage more of, as Moana did. So we saw in 2013 the sea change, Taitimu Taipari, a collaborative process established by the former government. That led to the drafting of the Hauraki Gulf um, Marine Spatial Plan in 2017. And I acknowledge those of you in the room who have contributed a lot of mahi um, to that plan and that process. So that plan sets out to secure a productive and a sustainable future for Te Kapa Moana, Te Maunui Atoi, by taking a fresh look at its management and developing a roadmap for the future. And as Moana mentioned, the plan was in response to those uh, human pressures. So what government has done is established a ministerial advisory committee last year, uh, co-chaired by Paul Majuri and Kathleen, Catherine Harland, with a number of representatives, both of iwi and stakeholders, with support from Te Papa Atawhai, the Department of Conservation and Fisheries New Zealand, to develop recommendations for ministers, myself and Minister Nash as Minister of Fisheries, about how we best respond to um, the Taitimu Taipari Hauraki Gulf Marine Spatial Plan and to prioritise some of the actions. So I'm really looking forward to the uh, Ministerial Advisory Committee's recommendations later this year. Those recommendations on their own won't be enough. Government, working with local government, needs to have an ongoing program of work around fisheries management, habitat restoration, aquaculture, marine protection, protected species, ahumuana, marine biosecurity and governance. And the strategy covers all of those issues. It's things like support for mana whenua and local communities to manage their, co-manage their coastal areas, um, to enable mana whenua to fulfil their ancestral kaitiaki obligations and to restore that a uh, really significant cultural, spiritual uh, relationship that Tangata Whenua have with the Gulf and its islands. One of the things that's inspired me is the Tamata, uh, uh, Rahui Mataitai, which was just a local community effort north of Thames, uh, in the Firth of Thames, where the community said to Minister Nash, we need a Rahui 
on the take of mussels, uh, cockles, pippi, that occurs over the summer with the influx, um, influx of visitors to the Coromandel. That was established very quickly, so bureaucracies can move fast, uh, and it is a temporary rahui from January through to July. The local community has ensured that the rahui has been um, implemented, and they have enforced it, and they met with them earlier this week, um, and with iwi. It's been a really successful initiative, and I think it shows that sometimes if we do things quickly, and if we experiment, we can achieve change on a smaller scale, and that can encourage change um, elsewhere. But why is it in the marine space that we have less than half a percent of our uh, marine area protected uh, in marine reserves? Why is it that in the marine space there is so much argument about people's interests and rights and less about responsibilities? There is so much conflict here. We have got to get beyond asserting our rights and to think about our responsibilities to the domain of Tangaroa and endorse the... <laughs> because we all share that interest in a healthy uh, gulf with abundant fisheries and marine life. Those eloquent descriptions that Clark gave of what the gulf was once like, we can get there again, but it means sharing, putting aside our assertion of rights. Um, would really like to see some ambitious vision, things like the fishing industry, offering to stop bottom trawling and other bottom damaging methods like Danish seining. <laughs> to take that step that will inspire other action. And how wonderful um, would that be? It's land developers recognising that, yes, there are rules in the Auckland Unitary Plan, but they have a responsibility to really stop any sediment um, getting off the land. So the state of the Gulf report sets out the challenge. We need to respond to that challenge to put the interest of Te Kapa Moana, Te Moananui, Atoi, at the heart of all of our actions so that the Gulf thrives for its own sake and for our sake in the present and in the future. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa.